Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I'm Manjit Rao, your online instructor. Uh, this is another video of uh, VMware vSphere 7.0 and in this session, in this video, we will discuss about how to configure storage by using NFS protocol. So if we talk about uh, our previous session, our uh, previous video, so in last video, I think we discussed about uh, how to provide uh, storage with the help of ISKZ. And, but now, this time, our agenda to understand about the concept of NFS and we'll also try to understand about the concept of RDM, RADIS mapping. So, firstly, you need to know about the concept because you know that if your concept is okay, if your concept is good, definitely you are able to perform the task related to the practical. So, first of all, you need to understand about uh, how NFS can perform the task in our VMware vSphere 7.0, means how you can share the storage and access from the ESXi. So, for example, this is our ESXi host that we installed. This is a vSphere ESXi 7.0. Okay, so you know that uh, we are on training activity, so definitely we don't have any storage device. So, what we need to do, I'm just going to use our Server 2012 operating system. This is a server machine. And with the help of server, we will configure the NFS services because you know that um, server operating system contain both types of protocol means it contain a uh, option related to the ISKZ means it is support the ISKZ protocol and you can configure the NFS service as well. Correct. So let's try to understand about the procedure, how you can assign the space with the help of NFS because in last session we already discussed about uh, ISKZ services. Both system must be communicate to each other. It's really important because without networking, we are unable to perform any task related to the sharing, especially related to the sharing. So let me check the IP address of both machine. It's really important. This one is our server that we will use it as a Okay, so this is our server that we will use it as a NFS. So with the help of NFS, we will share the space from our server operating system to ESXi. Because you know that in our last session, we discussed about how to configure ISKZ, how we can use the ISKZ protocol to share space from our server operating system to ESXi. So let's try to understand about the agenda. Uh, Let's try to understand about the procedures because this one is our uh, ESXi host, ESXi 7.0. Uh, it. Actually, this one is our ESXi 7.0. So our agenda to perform the task related to 7.0, not 6.5, because I have already created a proper playlist for 6.5. So you can find up to 45 plus video in uh, 6.5. So we need to understand about what are the new features added by Microsoft, uh, added by uh, VMware in 7.0. So this is our uh, uh, another ESXi which is the uh, 7.0.2 update. Let me connect the IP address of ESXi is 192.168.1.18. Need to open any browser as we know that we need to use a uh, web client to access our uh, ESXi in GUI format. So just need to open any browser, type the IP address of your ESXi and use the username and password that you used while installation of your ESXi host. Fine, so we successfully log in our ESXi host and uh, let's talk about the storage services. So as we know that this is the GUI panel, you can say that inventory of ESXi 7.0 and we just need to click on the storage and in the storage part, we are able to find two different storage are available. One is local storage and another is shared storage. The shared storage that we configured with the help of iSCSI protocol. But we have another way to configure our shared storage. We, we have another way to share our logical unit number uh, from our storage to our ESXi. So let's try to understand about how we can configure the NFS service with the help of Server 2012. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to make sure the both machines are communicating to each other. So I'm going to check the IP address of our server. It's 192.168.1.210. Ping with the 192.168.1.18, the IP address of our ESXi host. Yes, we are able to communicate. So what you need to do, you need to install the role of NFS. So need to click on uh, add role and feature, click next, next, again next. And need to click on file storage services, F file and storage services, just need to expand it. And 
see we are able to find one option server uh, for NFS it's already installed because in our last session we installed both services iSCSI and NFS so no need to do anything we have already installed second important part what are the procedure to share the space from your uh, server operating system with the help of NFS so it's really simple step that you need to use open my computer you can say that this PC and uh, check the available formatted drive so we have a 10 gig of space which is available in drive E and uh, I'm just going to create one folder and we'll share our fol folder with the help of NFS protocol the folder name is NFS no need to do anything right click on folder go to the properties and in the properties I'm not going to share by using the SMB protocol or NTFS sharing just need to click on NFS sharing right so need to click on NFS click manage NFS service select share this folder and we are able to find one option is permissions need to click on permissions and here we are able to find all machines means you are planning to share this uh, NFS with multiple ESXi so no need to do anything read only I'm just going to make it read and write we must need to allow it second important part you need to provide the IP address of your server operating system the provider 210 this is the IP address of your uh, server operating system you can say that uh, NFS server mark it read and write okay okay just yes, continue we want to share it uh, for both service means uh, read and write no need to do anything we successfully shared the folder uh, with the help of NFS protocol back to the ESXi over a GUI panel so need to click on data store we just need to click on add data storage and here we are able to find a number of options we have a number of way to connect our uh, um, storage one is create VMFS data storage another is extend our, uh, to existing VMFS expand an existing VMFS data store so now we are able to find mount NFS data store right so need to click on mount uh, NFS data store click next type the name of your uh, folder so type the name of your NFS uh, storage so I'm just going to use same NFS storage right it's also a type of shared storage type the name of your uh, uh, NFS server so not name you just need to type the IP address of your NFS server right this is the place where we can decide uh, where we can provide the path of our uh, shared folder so our shared folder path is see this one E is a drive letter and NFS is our folder name so you just need to type drive letter colon type the name of your folder NFS NFS 3 and NFS 4 there are two different version of NFS available so we are using server 2012 so we need to proceed with NFS 3 next no need to do anything click finish we are able to access see we are able to find one more storage is successfully added to our ESXi so this is the way to configure the NFS but question is what are the difference between NFS and iSCSI in which case we need to proceed with the uh, ISKZ, in which case we need to proceed with NFS. So, see, as per the name suggests, NFS uh, is a type of protocol. I know that we know that ISKZ is also a type of protocol. The actual difference between NFS and uh, ISKZ with the help of NFS, we are able to share the space in the format of hard drive. Got it? But in case of NFS, you are trying to share the space in the format of folder. So you can say that the blog level storage, if you want to share uh, storage in, in blog format, so you must need to choose the ISKZ. If you want to share the space in format of uh, object label, you can proceed with NFS. The actual difference between both, with the help of ISKZ uh, sharing, with the help of ISKZ protocol, you are able to configure the RDM with any virtual machine. But in case of NFS, we don't have any option to configure the shared space as a RDM raw disk mapping. So if you want to configure RDM, definitely you need to proceed with ISKZ. You need to share the, your space with the help of ISKZ protocol. Then you are able to configure RDM. Otherwise, if you share the NFS based folder, NFS based shared storage, we are unable to configure the RDM service. So I'll give you the complete information about the RDM service. But in next class, I hope you understand about the concept of NFS and ISKZ. So need to perform the task myself and we'll connect tomorrow with another batch another session you can say that and discuss about 
to uh, how to manage the RDM service. So take care guys. Bye bye. We'll connect soon and discuss more about the VSPR 7.0. Take care guys.